In this Working with Design Pad template video, we will illustrate how to use multiple polylines to add additional design features to our site. For example, we can quickly add an access ramp to a pad or quickly build a multi-pad environment. All right, let's get started. In a previous video, I had already created this pit, so I want to go from above there to here to generate this new ramp. Now first, I want to make sure that I don't have any objects at zero elevation that I could snap to. So by going to the DD viewpoint command, using those angles, that's fine. Let's zoom in extents. I can see I had one, so I'm going to freeze that layer. I want to snap to, you know, zero elevation. So hit enter. And now to go back to a plan view, just type in plan, enter twice, and here we are. All right, now let's use the draw menu and use the 3D polyline command. I want to change my layer. I have a ramp layer, so I want to go to that ramp. Hit OK. There we go. And let's hit OK. Don't need to make any more changes. Now, let me snap to about there and see the elevation. So I'm going to keep that. Let's go in and zoom a little tighter. Snap to there. Double check the elevation 1970. That's perfect. And let's hit enter. OK, perfect. Now, to generate the other side, I'm going to go Edit, and let's go 3D Polyline Utilities, way at the bottom, and do an offset 3D Polyline. Perfect. I want to use the Interval method. And for my layer, let me use my Ramp layer. There we go. Let's hit OK. There we are. Now, my horizontal offset, uh, let's make it about 18 feet. There we go. And I don't need to change the elevation, so I'm going to use 0. Now let's pick my 3D polyline. There we go. Offset to this side. And there we go. All right. So now let's go ahead and kind of stretch the lines a little bit to round it up. So what I'm going to do is uh, snap from here. All right. Let's grab the grip, the blue dot. And I'm going to just stretch it out right around there using nearest. Perfect. Now let's do the same thing on the other side. Let me just grab it from here. Get the grip, stretch it out to, uh, again, I'll make it around there. Going quickly through this, so there we go. Nearest, perfect. All right, now let me isolate those, that layer, the ramp layer. So click on the isolate, there we go. Perfect. Now let me use the join nearest to close the pad object. I'm going to use a closed polyline here. Uh, Offset about 35 feet, that's fine. Let's hit OK. I'll just grab the two lines. And there we go, it's closed. Now, I like to do this. I like to go to the properties. There's a couple of ways of doing it. I like to do it this way. And then um, click here. Let's check elevation of vertex one, 1970. Elevation of vertex two, 1970, perfect. Now notice three is at 2004. So I'm gonna go back to vertex three, change my elevation to 2006. Perfect, let's go ahead and click on another field just to make sure the change takes. Perfect, and I can close property. So I know my pad has the right elevations on all the edges. All right, so now what I want to do is bring back the design pad template window. Okay, now we'll keep most of the settings the same, but the one I'm focusing on right now is the minimum cut fill height. Now, one of the ends of my pad will tie into my existing pad. So I want to make sure we don't project any slope. So 0.2 tolerance is good. I'm going to go to a surface. Let me switch the layer. We're going to go to ramp. And most everything else will be the same. So let me go ahead and hit OK here. All right. Now let's go ahead and pick the pad polyline. There we go. We're going to go to the merged. That's my target. Perfect. Uh, Keep the same ratios, 2 and 2 for cut and fill. And we're done. Our volume report. Now in my case, I'm not going to make any more changes. I'm going to say no. Perfect. And let's go ahead and update the target surface. In this case, my merge tin. So let's click that. And notice how the surface updates. Lastly, let's go ahead and take a look at a 3D view. So I like to use from the view menu, 3D view surface file viewer now you say the surface menu you can also find it uh, the same command so we'll go merged perfect let it open and there we go there's our pad and the ramp and it's going to rotate it to get a better view 
For the second part of the video, I've created already a couple of lines. One of them will be in my building layer, and the second one is in my parking layer. Now for elevation, around 2000, that's fine. Now what we'll use is under the design pad templates, the option of multi-pad polylines, which allows us to stagger how they get analyzed. So we'll go on here, process multiple pad polylines and click on setup. We can choose the layers and that's where the line work will be found and the column field slopes. So for instance, let me repick my, and this is my parking, so let's hit okay. Now I know the cod for that is three and the field two, and I have the criteria for my second set of line work in the separate layer. All right, my pad layer, I'm gonna use building pads, that's good, let's hit okay. And I'm gonna go to my merge tin, perfect, let's hit open. There we go. Now select entities. I need to select the two lines in my case. There we go. Hit enter. Now the first elevation, notice the highlighted one is my parking one. So I'm going to go 1990 for that one. And there it is. And now my second one, the building. So I'm going to go 2000. There we go. Notice how the software uh, staggered the way it projected line work. So we're good to go. If I want to write the final translation file, sure. And it's merged. So let's hit save. Hit yes. And there we are. It's done and I updated the contours. Once more, I want to see it in 3D, but let me do it a little different way. I'm going to go back to surface and now 3D views here and surface flyover, right? So I'm going to use a tin file, that's fine. And for the direction, it's pick points. Make sure I have my merge tin there. All right, so my starting point could be there to there. Perfect. And I'm using my merged. Perfect. Save. Open, sorry. There we go. And notice what I have. I had a dozer already set up here, and I can do a little video on showing how the machine will go. To recap this video, we use different tools and 3D polylines to generate an access ramp to our existing pad. And we also use the multi pad option inside of Design Pad Template to select layers with different line work, with different criteria for slopes and allow the software to stagger and build up uh, that design pad for us.